lost in the Atlantic Ocean, where the blue vastness reigns over the land. An unexplored habitat of color and life has been found. A volcanic island, green and virgin, forged by the heat of magma and kept by the sands of time. Today, this luxuriant paradise of life brings forth one of the best kept secrets of the animal kingdom. The story of our ancestors can be read in the smallest of details around us. If we look closer into what seems to be a simple chicken bone, we might find a fossil record of one of Earth's first mammals. It all began at the end of the Triassic period. Certain reptiles began to take the shape of early mammals. While these creatures evolved into extinction, their followers gained the characteristics that we now associate with mammals. The planet's clock kept ticking, and new species replaced old ones. Most paleontologists agree that with the advent of the Cenozoic era, 28 orders of mammals emerged, of which only 16 survived. They also concur and that to be a modern mammal, the following characteristics are necessary. Sweat glands, mammary glands, warm blood, and cilia, meaning body hair. But what brings us to this forgotten island is a discovery of such magnitude that could raise Darwin himself from the dead. For it is here that a new species of unique morphological and physiological traits has been discovered which has brought the scientific community into euphoria. I present to you the Monoculus Ori, the proud result of millions of years of evolution. Composed of powerful photoreceptive cells and a huge retina, the Monoculus's single eye keeps track of a speedy moth in the dark of night, and propelled by its muscular legs and elegant feet, it runs tirelessly after its meal. Surprising the moth, the monoculus chases the insect into a carefully designed trap, a mouth trap. With its huge mouth, the male monoculus easily engulfs the doomed insect. The result of the hunt is a well-deserved meal for both male and female. What wonderful synergy! It has been a busy night for this young male. And now he's enjoying the cool shade of this stone. Life is not easy for the male monoculus. With his underdeveloped eye, he is almost blind. To find his way round in the dense vegetation, the monoculus relies on a powerful ecolocation system, identical to the one used by bats. Hello, little fellow. It's me, the Homo sapiens. See the tongue. This oversized, powerful muscle is covered with hundreds of taste buds that provide not only a sense of taste, but also that of touch. What a perfect match.
Deep in the forest, the leaves exposed to their atmospheric moisture condense and generate dew. This is the perfect opportunity for a female monoculus to wash her most important organ. It is vital that the eye is clean and free of conjunctivitis. After removing excess water, the female returns to a permanent state of alertness. It is quite remarkable how the female monoculus's eye resembles a photographic zoom lens. As twilight approaches, the male becomes increasingly busy. He knows there's no time to waste if he wants to be ready for the call. The call is an odd behavior that occurs every spring. The male positions himself in a high position and starts chanting an incredibly loud tune. The purpose becomes clear as the female responds with a rhythmic whistle. While the male is busy convincing the female of his dancing and songwriting skills, he becomes more and more excited. Ultimately, if all goes according to plan, both will disappear into the nest and consummate what is yet another mystery of the wild.